in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Fully. In Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1, the Bible says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, saw the Lord. What must die in your life for you to see the Lord? For some of you, it's pride that must die for you to see the Lord. For some of you, lust that must die to see the Lord. For some of you, greed must die to see the Lord. You're going to pray and say, Lord, I am available. Do not pass me as you move through this island, as you move through the nations, those following from whatever region, whatever nation, I'd like you to pray. Whatever you want to do, keep praying. Lord, you can do through me. Whatever you want to say Lord you can say through me whatever you want to bring Lord you can bring through me whatever you want to take Lord you can take Available, go ahead and pray. Cry to your Maker, your God and my God, your King and my King. fresh consecration a dedication for the service of the king take away pride take away flesh let there be a circumcision of the spirit for the sake of the revival that is coming You can bring the request. Are you praying? You are still praying for yourself. I'm yours, I'm yours. I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours. I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours. It's yours. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, there are three or four things that we're going to do the next 10 minutes or so, and then we'll wrap up my final session with us. Number one, we have these prayers. It's a representation of the hunger the needs of God's people. It says, unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I want you to believe that these Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. Number two, I'm going to be praying and ministering the healing and the delivering power of God. Sadly, we may not have time to take testimonies because I understand you have a curfew and we must respect it. Number three, which is very important, there are graces and mantles that must fall on someone in this place this night. Maybe not everybody, but I know for sure there are people who came here. You must carry something. And then number four, I had a vision early this morning. I was sleeping, very tired and I was sleeping and all of a sudden, in that vision, I was taken to your sea and I saw what looked like a, you know how fishes come out, very big fish came out out of the river, went back again, came out the second time, went back again, came out the third time, went back again. And the spirit of the Lord told me, this is the spirit that sits upon this territory. And we pray. Because there is a prophetic push that this land must receive. A restoration of the life, the fire of the gospel, the passion and the hunger for the things of God. I told you there are spirits that interrupt the program of God. We do all this within the next 10 minutes very quickly. Please let your heart be desperate. Now, let me say this. If anyone is under the anointing, whether you are an usher or not, please be your brother's keeper. Anyone is under the anointing, we may not have time to bring them out, except if I ask so. Just help them to just lie quietly so that they don't injure themselves. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you ready to pray? Father, that which must come upon my life tonight to change my destiny and to set me on fire, I receive by faith. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Please pray. There's gonna be a greater way. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray. Let's agree by faith and decree and declare. That everything you wrote here, may the power of God come to bring testimonies upon it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray. As I lay my hands over your requests. Bonnie Island, pray. Unto you that answers prayer, shall all flesh come. Lord, let there be transformation. Let there be miracles upon this land. In the name of Jesus. Visit your people, O oh God. Bring them miracles. Bring them signs. Turn captivities around in the name of Jesus. 
open closed doors. Bring glory to the name of Jesus. Bring glory to the name of Jesus. Bring glory to the name of Jesus. Financial blessings. Spiritual awakenings. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ like Paul would over the church in Ephesus. And I call upon the God of my covenant that in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, everything written here that is a prayer request may it be turned tonight into a testimony. Let impossible situations be turned around. In the name of Jesus. For some of you on your way going home, you will begin to meet some of these answers. Let impossible situations be turned around by the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh God, may nothing written here remain in the life of your people. Every human agent that must be in partnership with God to make this request come to pass, we declare that connection is made now. Everything to be restored here, be restored in Jesus' name. Everything you are tired of seeing that needs to live your life, I agree with you that as you wave it goodbye this night, it waves you back forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please listen very quickly. I want to make an altar call before we finish up the impartation. There are people here up the balcony following online from whatever nation and right here outside, inside. You're saying, Apostle, I do not want you to end this meeting and leave this town without giving me an opportunity. For all of the sessions we've had people come to Jesus and let tonight be no different. Whilst you heard me preach, whilst you heard me speak, the Spirit of the Lord began to tell you that could it be that you are part of this great army that God is raising? But it starts with a genuine encounter with Jesus. Two categories I'm going to call in one. You've never encountered Jesus genuinely as Lord and Savior. Knowing Jesus as healer does not bring you salvation. Knowing Jesus as a prophet does not bring you salvation. Knowing Jesus as a good man does not bring you salvation. Knowing Jesus as God does not bring you salvation. There is no other name under heaven, the Bible declares, that has been given unto men by which we must be saved. And then you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I gave my heart to the Lord, but for some reason, because of carelessness or the way my life has gone, the vicissitudes of life, I cannot truly say I'm standing strong in the faith. These two groups of people, I'm going to count one to five very quickly. Wherever you are, I want you to leave your seat up, down, outside, run and come and stand before the Lord here. A count of one to five. Don't wait for anyone to be the first. Win that war tonight. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. People are coming. If you're coming, come. Run to Jesus. He leads me and guides me to the city up above. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. He leads me and guides me to the city up above. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. Keep coming. You're coming from the balcony. Please encourage them as they come very quickly. Come to Jesus unashamed. Come to Jesus intentionally. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. I want to come, but I'm afraid and I'm ashamed of my friends. Leave them and win that war tonight. Come and join them. Run to Jesus. 
whosoever would come to him he will in no wise cast away young old come to Jesus alike blessed be the name of the Lord hallelujah now please look at me I salute every one of you for the noble decision to come stand before your maker you're not standing before an altar you're not standing before Joshua Selman you're standing before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords I want you to lift your right hand every one of you lift it high to the heavens and I want you to say this prayer of faith after me let it be from the depth of your heart you're not reciting a poem Jesus is here say after me Lord Jesus one more time say it believe what you are saying say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I declare that I love you with all my heart tonight I declare that Jesus is my Savior is my Lord and my King I receive mercy and forgiveness from every sin and every guilt and I also receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today and forever I am a child of God I am saved I belong to Jesus and I will serve him all the days of my life no going back forward ever and backward never in Jesus name keep your hands lifted father I pray for these ones it's an honor to lift them before your throne tonight I ask in the name of Jesus according to the authority of scripture that their sins are forgiven and I declare that you are partakers of the life of God you receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and I declare that you reign in life I plant in you a hunger for the things of God and I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit the Lord will raise you and cause you to advance you will serve him all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen now please all of you in concert just move to my left which is your right there's a counselor waving their hands let's celebrate them as they go please celebrate them everyone celebrate them as they go is that the best you can do celebrate them as they go are you ready to receive The next few moments will be a very prophetic moment and I want you to please pay attention many years ago the Lord Jesus appeared to me and in that encounter I had very dramatic moments with the Lord Jesus Christ I have seen him I know he's alive in that encounter the Lord Jesus stretched his right hand towards me and light marvelous light came into my spirit many of you have listened to my teachings and you've heard me say how I did not die is a mystery that I will ask him when we get to heaven and from that encounter I did not know that it was an impartation many things began to happen in my life signs and wonders angelic activities supernatural access to revelation and in a separate encounter the Lord spoke to me and said my son from this day I give you my presence as a gift and I saw this angel mighty angel that stood before me and he said he will walk with you I said what is his name he said he's called the angel of the Lord's presence and then the Lord gave me an instruction in another encounter he said everywhere I send you to any nation any continent any region there must be people in that place that the light that came from me to you there must be someone who must receive of that land that light 
and I have not failed in this assignment not once. Every time he grants me the grace to travel to regions, help them please. There will always be one person. And so this, along with the impartation, there are graces that must fall upon you right now. There are anointings. Many of you are the custodians of the next revivals upon the Bonny Island and from Bonny Island across the nation, across the continent. I'm stretching my hands right now. Father, I'm seeing the number 38. There are 38 people here. The grace that is coming upon you is a, a grace for encounters and the secret place. Take that grace. Help them please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. From the front to the back, my left to my right. Father, in the name of Jesus, as many as must drink of this grace, I declare may that fire fall on them now. Over Bonny Island, revivalists arise. Over Bonny Island, prophets, prophetesses, over Bonny Island, intercessors, arise by the Spirit. Help them, please. Is there a way you can bring these ones out? These ones I'm praying for. Please, if you can't, just bring them out. Just help them. I'm praying. Fire is falling on people right now. The Lord is releasing graces. There are women here. There are ladies that are going to be after the order of Deborah. Intercessors. Wailing women. Where are they? I stretch my hands. May that grace for intercession. Let it come upon you right now. Help them. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power to break every chain. Now, the grace for the evangelistic. There are people here, you are stepping into an anointing. Grace is the kind that men like T.L. Osborne stepped into from right from this land. I release that grace. Take that fire. 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 Help them, please. Take that fire in the name of Jesus. The front is filled. You don't have to bring them again. Just guide them where you are. Now, please hear me. Hear me. The Spirit of God is ministering to me. There are some of you, especially you are mothers. You may be elderly, but there is a grace God wants to restore. God will show you things in dreams and they will happen exactly as you saw. But it looks like that grace has been lost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we find that grace back to flames. We find that grace back to flames. Madam, this woman lifting her hands. Just lift your hands. I'm seeing what looks like oil coming on you. I stretch my hands right from here. Take that grace. Help her, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, take that grace by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is releasing the spirit of prayer and intercession. There are prayer warriors from this encounter. I'm seeing the number 15, 1, 5. Prayer altars. We set you on fire now. On fire now. In the name of Jesus. Prayer altars. Men and women of prayer. Young men and women, intercessors, prophetic intercessors, arise by the Spirit. Pray down revival. Pray down signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Please pay attention. There are some of you, the grace for leadership is on you. Leadership. 
governance. You will be the ones to set the structure. The Daniels and the Josephs, I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are, but in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, anyone here with the grace for leadership to see to it that the purposes of God is preserved even in government, I release that grace upon you. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. There are some of you who are called into ministry. Some of you are already in ministry. The fivefold now. There needs to be stamina. There needs to be endurance. I want to pray for you. End time ministry requires stamina. There are arsenals from hell that will arise. It takes discipline. It takes stamina. It takes diligence. The grace to serve God acceptably. The grace to serve God with fire. The fire for revival. The fire for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Let me pray for the sick now. Please lay your hands if you are trusting God for a miracle. You are trusting God for any kind of deliverance. We don't have all the time but I want to speak over you now. Believe God. Agree with me shouting a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil of infirmity, every spirit that is back of diseases and infirmities, be gone now in the name of Jesus. Be gone now in the name of Jesus. Now I declare from the crown of your head, to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. healing to your eyes in the name of Jesus Amen. healing to your feet in the name of Jesus Amen. receive strength in your body in the name of Jesus Amen. every blood condition here we change that situation now we change that situation now Every problem with your hearing, I declare receive a miracle now. Every organ failure in your body, be healed in the name of Jesus. High blood pressure, be healed in the name of Jesus. Ulcers, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every blood related condition, be healed in the name of Jesus. Bone conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Spinal cord conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Ulcers of all sorts. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, every growth in your body, lumps around the breast area, around the stomach, fibroids, in the name of Jesus, we curse you by the God of heaven. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please. May I request, if you do not mind, if I can have just three or four ministers of the gospel here, maybe our reverend, our pastor, and two or three others. I want us to stand prophetically, representing the church over Bonnie, and I want us to speak over the land, please. Please celebrate the fathers as they come.
The reason why I ask the men of God to come is number one, to represent the unity of the body. But number two, to stand under a corporate anointing based on the vision that I saw. Every time I travel to regions, listen to me. I pray every time from the depth of my heart the prayer that Jesus prayed that they be one. The truth is that we may never exactly be one in terms of sameness of approach or even some aspects of doctrine but it's too small a reason to bring divisions this must be a new season of embracing ourselves regardless the limitations we are not all perfect we are a project but God has shown us mercy and we must carry that mentality and stand as one body one Lord, one faith, and even one baptism as the Bible teaches. It is the same heaven all of us are going into. And so we must stand to see that the gospel advances. But we must stand as a corporate people and declare over the land. And so I have asked the servants of God representing the men and women in this land to come stand with me in agreement. As we pray this one prayer. Your assignment is to agree and release your faith. As we shout amen are we in agreement father in the name of Jesus amen. father in the name of Jesus amen. we bring before you this entire island Bonnie Island a land that you have loved an island that you have invested your power upon we speak right now by the spirit to the spirits that operate across this territory Lift up your heads, O oh ye gates, and be ye lifted, everlasting doors. Let the King of glory have a triumphant entry over Bonny Island in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The same way our fathers did. We stand tonight by the privilege of God's grace. We rededicate Bonnie Island and we declare Bonnie Island, you belong to Jesus. Bonnie Island, hear the word of the Lord. May Jesus find expression upon your land. We call Bonnie Island a center of revival, a center of signs and wonders a center of prosperity, a center of godliness, a center of righteousness, a center of unity, a center of advancement, a center of advancement. Hear me. Anyone who will divide the men and the women in this land, we close the spiritual borders of this land against them. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of untimely death that attempts to sweep people in this land by the power that raised Christ from the dead and under the corporate anointing of the men of God we declare no more in Jesus name we pray for the women in this land you will no longer be widows prematurely we pray for the men in this land. You will no longer be widowers prematurely. We pray for the children in this land. You will no longer be orphans prematurely. Father, every church, every assembly, every cathedral in this land, we dedicate it as a center for righteousness, a center for missions, a center for miracles a center for mentorship Lord we stand in the spirit of the fathers of the land the men and women who labor for the gospel here Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder James Johnson and all the heroes whose blood is upon your land we pray let there be a move of the Spirit again. 
Let there be a move of the Spirit again. Raise apostles in this land. Raise prophets in this land. Raise evangelists in this land. Raise missionaries in this land. We pray for all the oil companies represented here. All of them. I may not know all of them by name. But we use NLNG, Shell, and all that are part of this program. No spirit will abort the program of God. Amen. Hear me. We pray for their leaders. I pray for your kings in this land. I pray for your chiefs in this land. In the name of Jesus, every royal kingdom and every palace will serve Jesus, the God of the Bible. I stand by prophecy. We command the earth to close over evil in this land. The reign of evil, vices that corrupt, vices that interrupt status quo. We judge you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that all the indigents and the inhabitants of Boni Island will be responsible men and women. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your young people. They will be responsible gentlemen. The grace to be established on time. I pray for your women. May they be responsible ladies that become mothers, that become grandmothers. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for the land. We command a reign of prosperity on your land like never before. We pray for the sea. We command the sea to come into abundance in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you. The Bible says the increase of the land is for all. Even the king is fed by what comes from the field. Let me pray for you. You can be in a good land and yet your life does not show it. Oh, earth, hear the word of the Lord. Yield your increase to the inhabitants of this land. Please hear me. I came into this land and you received me with honor. The Bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. By the privilege of the election of grace, I lift my voice to the God who called me and sent me. Standing in partnership with every man of God here. May the blessing that the Lord has placed on my life, may it rest upon your life. May shame and dishonor be far from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as the church, we stand to declare that the church is being built in this land and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the sound of war, let the sound of ethnic violence, let the sound of cultic clashes, may they come to an end in this land. By extension, we pray for the entire river state and we pray for the entire Niger Delta. We command and we prophesy peace. We command and we prophesy prosperity. We command and we prophesy increase in the name of Jesus. Therefore, standing together with the men of God here, we declare over the land of Boni that you are a blessed land and a prosperous land in the name of the Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit give Jesus a hand clap of praise Hallelujah I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well, 
share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.